Hey everyone, today I've got your 50-50 movie review and this movie is about a guy who has cancer and he is struggling to deal with his sudden issue and of course he has to deal with his family um, like his mom who is really overprotective, really cares about him, who's played by Angelica Houston and also his girlfriend who is played by Bryce Dallas Howard and the main guy, the reason why I saw this movie was because of the main actor um, Joseph Gordon-Levitt who I am such a huge fan of and I really liked his performance in this movie because he definitely portrayed um, his character while in his situation and just like the overall process of like having to deal with somebody having cancer and just like finding out about it and having to make all these arrangements and then of course he has this over eccentric friend played by Seth Rogen who is just absolutely hilarious in this movie he just jokes like makes a joke every like line that comes out of his mouth is literally just laughable and I simply adore him and Joseph Gordon-Levitt's performance obviously for this movie earned him a Golden Globe nomination um, last year and so I was really excited for that um, unfortunately he didn't win but this performance is the reason why he got that nomination I think this movie is just purely heartfelt and it definitely touched me just the overall story and just the effect that it had on me and um, I just really liked it and it was definitely a tearjerker and I love the acting and I love the story and just how all the characters interacted with each other so I definitely loved that part of the movie and just um, how he got from finding out about him having cancer and then having to deal with his family and friends who are just so emotional about the whole thing because they don't know what's going to happen and even he doesn't know what's going to happen he's really worried so you see like his emotion like his emotions change as the movie progresses and then of course you think like in the end something bad's gonna happen or something good might come like out of it because you know there's always good to bad situations but then you don't know because this stuff is just so unpredictable and that is one of the things that I loved about this movie because it was so unpredictable and I couldn't tell like I was really rooting for the characters and just how like they were all going to get along with each other and then even um, Anna Kendrick who plays the um, therapist sort of um, chick who um, Joseph Gordon-Levitt he sort of consoles to her and just wants to let everything out but then he doesn't want to make it sound so sappy um, because he really doesn't know what is going to happen to him even though he's been told like what could happen that he has a 50-50 chance of having it be successful or not so I definitely liked how this movie was just it was written really good I love the acting that is definitely my most favorite part of the movie and then just how all the characters came together and they just they had this like bond with each other like in different aspects so that's one of the reasons why I like this movie and yeah I'm not gonna give away too I'm not gonna give away any spoilers because this movie is definitely one that you need to see for yourself and just watch it and see if you guys like it and then you guys can let me know in the comments what you guys thought of 50-50 I personally loved it and I love the acting, love the writing, I can't stress that enough and I'm sorry I keep talking about that but it's just because it was so brilliant like I'm surprised that he didn't, uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt didn't win um, for his role because this is definitely something, and I couldn't tell if he actually shaved his head or not for the movie, but it looked real, so I really liked that, and um, Seth Rogen's reaction to that whole scene in the movie, um, 
I thought was really hilarious and it just looked real to me so um, definitely let me know what you guys think about 50-50 if you guys liked it or not if you thought um, Joseph Gordon-Levitt's performance was um, or should have been a win at the Golden Globes even though he didn't win or um, which um, actor did you um, think stood out to you the most um, let me know and um, if you like this movie and you guys can also subscribe to my channel. I've got several mo more movie reviews coming your way as well as movie updates and come back every week for my Trailer Thursday videos. And you guys can also like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter and I will see you guys later. Bye.